prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this Holy Mass, let us humbly admit our many sins. Let us ask God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of your Spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Curse is the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. More tortuous than all else is the human heart. Beyond remedy, 
who can understand it? I, the Lord, alone probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near wa running water that yields its fruits in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Please stand. Mapalad ang nag-iima sa kanyang pusong matapat ng salitang nagbubuhat sa poong Diyos ng iwanan sa tiyak ay The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried, and from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, O oh, no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, 
neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, do you believe in hell? Naniniwala ba kayo sa impyerno? You know, many people do not believe in hell. They would say that hell is just a fabrication of the mind, kathang isip lang, that hell is not real, that hell was invented simply to frighten people. Panakot lang sa mga tao. And so, we must not be afraid of hell. Hell does not exist according to them. But in the Bible, several times, God and even Jesus would talk about eternal damnation in hell. Hell as a place of suffering. Hell as total separation from God. And one such instance is our gospel today, which is the parable about the rich man and Lazarus. In this story, there is a reversal of faith. The rich man who enjoyed his life here on earth ended in hell. While Lazarus, the poor man who suffered on earth, was rewarded with eternal bliss in the bosom of Abraham in heaven. And so this parable of Jesus reminds us again of one basic truth in life, that what we do in our lives has an irreversible consequence in eternity. Kung anuman ang ginagawa natin sa buhay na ito, ay may hindi na mababagong kahihinatnan sa buhay na walang hanggan. Imagine the rich man who was eating sumptuously every day was begging for a drop of water. Sa buhay na ito, napakaraming niyang pagkain. Nagpakasasa siya sa maraming bagay. Pero sa bandang huli, sa, bu- sa kabilang buhay, nang hihingi siya kahit isang patak lang ng tubig para maibsan ang kanyang paghihirap sa apoy ng impyerno. And what was the response of Abraham to him? There is nothing we can do anymore. Pagdating pala sa buhay na walang hanggan, wala nang pagkakataon dahil ibinigay na ang lahat ng pagkakataon sa atin sa buhay na ito. What we do here, how we live our lives, will determine whether we will enjoy the happiness in heaven or we will suffer the fires of hell. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us look at ourselves. Let us look at our own lives. Where do you think will you go? Kung susuriin natin ang ating buhay sa ngayon, saan kaya tayo dadalhin nito? 
what we do in this life, our actions, our choices, our decisions, our attitude, our lifestyle, the way we relate with one another, the authenticity of our person, the genuineness of the expressions of our faith, all these will matter how we will spend eternity. And so we must be careful how to live our lives here on earth. Because this is our only chance to prove that we are worthy to be with God in heaven. In our first reading today, the Lord through the prophet Jeremiah tells us, I, the Lord, alone probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. Ang Diyos ang siyang magagantimpala sa mga kabutihang ating ginagawa at sa kakulangan ng kabutihan sa ating buhay, meron ding kahihinatnan. Nakikita ng Diyos ang puso ng bawat isa sa atin. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us always be reminded that hell is a reality. There is hell. And if we are not careful how we live our lives, then we might just end up there. Please stand. As we remember the special needs of the poor, we come before our God who shared His riches with everyone by sending His Son into the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may show forth the compassion of Christ for the poor who are struggling for a more just society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That those who are tempted to become slaves of wealth and material security may realize that spiritual poverty arises from refusing to share with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may all have the grace to show mercy and compassion generosity and understanding to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may share in the happiness and peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers. We continue to pray for peace in Ukraine and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, in your love and mercy, fill us with the abundance of your generosity 
and help us to reach out to the less fortunate. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, <clears throat> sanctify our observance, that what Lenten discipline outwardly declares it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, be blessed through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this sacrifice, O God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Abide with your servants, O Lord, who implore the help of your grace, that they may receive from you the support and guidance of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Santa Maria, Reina ng Sanlibutan, Nakatakot 
Oh, 